Hey, good afternoon, and thank you for spending your lunch hour right here with us on your Monday. I'm Emma Benson. And I'm Jeff Roper. Dylan Carter has the day off today. Well, it's Monday, June 13th, though today certainly does not feel like June, Jeff. Normally, we would have lots of sun, calm winds, and about 75 degrees, but flooding and mudslides have changed our news today. They have closed down Yellowstone National Park. Just in the last hour, Yellowstone has closed all its entrances into the park as heavy rain is damaging roads and bridges. The park shared these pictures showing a part of the north entrance road being washed out by the Gardner River. The road is between Gardner and Mammoth Hot Springs. Look at that damage right there with all those trees piling up. And obviously, uh, we've got multiple sections of the road that have been washed out between Gardner and Cook City. The road falling apart there on your screen. Uh, portions of Montana, uh, Cook City, Montana, and multiple bridges affected by this. Visitors in the northern portion of the park are being evacuated. They say the power is also out in multiple parts of Yellowstone Park. So rangers are concerned about the roads in the southern portion of the park because they're on the verge of flooding there. They've closed the entrances because they don't want visitors to get stranded inside. And so we can show you the uh, West Yellowstone entrance. They're warning it could be a while before they reopen. So if you're planning on going to Yellowstone Park this week, you're going to have to make, see they're turning people around here and you can see the, the uh, police lights there toward the end of the, uh, of, the t of the road. You may want to make other plans if you're planning on going there. We're going to keep you updated on conditions there, but uh, the rain and the wind today are the big story, Emma. Yeah, for sure. And heavy rains is also causing concern in the Island Park area. Fremont County Emergency Management have provided sand and sandbags at the shotgun bar for those experiencing flooding. There is no charge for the sandbags. They say to be cautious around the creek and rivers in the area as the runoff is very cold and swift right now in locations. Well, Jeff, how are things looking right now? Well, it's windy. I don't know if you've been outside, but we had a cold front come through and we saw those showers this morning that only putting more water into play and that's why we've got those conditional issues. It's 54 degrees in Idaho Falls, but we are sitting with 32 mile an hour winds and, and I'll show you where the flood alerts are here on the big map. You get into uh, Fremont County and then portions of the park and we've got flash flood warnings that are in effect and we'll include also flood warnings into the central mountain areas. We've extended those into Haley as well as the snow begins to melt and some of those drenching rains saturate the ground and you saw some of those uh, really vivid pictures. Pictures, uh, because of the saturation, the trees become uprooted and they just fall into line and it, it almost builds their own little uh, beaver dam in some of those uh, crossroad sections. So you got to be careful. And with the wind after this morning's uh, front came through, uh, loose objects and debris. I'll go ahead and tell you right now, uh, car doors are another hazard. Uh, they will hit you in the meniscus and make a believer out of you. We've had a 45 mile an hour gust into Idaho Falls in the last hour. We're seeing gusts of upwards of 30 and 21 mile an hour gust into Island Park as we clear things out and get situated for a sunny afternoon, but we've got a lot of weather uh, and weather effects to be concerned with from flooding and winds and some bright sunshine to boot. Things are going to be a lot cooler around here, so we're going to talk about frost and some snow possibly coming up in your first alert forecast. Wind advisories remain in effect for that teal area on your screen until about 9 o'clock tonight. Emma?